The Bavarian mother archetype has invaded my life and it's insidious. It's this whole notion that mothers, mums are meant to dedicate their 100% energy life on nurturing a baby, at least primarily for the first six months because the baby's life depends on it. Um, but then it gets to a point where that mother isn't supported enough and again, even past that threshold of six months, they have to give their entire soul and everything to that baby. Now, obviously, many people voluntarily take up that responsibility by bringing in a child in to the earth. Unfortunately, in other circumstances, people don't. They go through horrid things and they're left in a situation where they've got a baby to raise up and they don't even have the emotional capacity. And when a mother has to carry the burden of not only herself, but her family and those around her, and whatever it is, particularly I've seen this in my experience as a black woman or mixed, whatever people want to tell me I am anyway, um, is that we have to take on the burdens of everyone at such a young age of everything. We're not only expected to work, we're expected to be great wives, great children. The list goes on and on and on. Yet, yeah, we're not actually being poured into like this whole kind of mothering instinct that is meant to primarily drive the first six months where we just nurture our child regardless it extends and it becomes almost like the default it becomes pathologized and it becomes our default that even we've got grown-ass men walking around still being devoured by their mums we've got grown-ass daughters walking around still being devoured by their mums because their mums have had to learn to essentially be the fucking po punching bag of everyone else's shit. The, the mums are still being held um, to account for the fact that that is their child. Um, that's a whole other topic. Um, perhaps we could argue that um, you do remain accountable for how your child is when they're grown. I do actually agree with that sentiment, but what I'm saying is that there is a serious problem right now and it is that of the Dwara mother. It comes from a place where mothering is a difficult task. It's one of the hardest tasks ever and society doesn't recognise that. They don't. And it's been the bane of my existence because I'm looking at what my mum's gone through. I'm looking at what I've gone through. I'm looking at what other mums have gone through and I see why everything's so fucking ugly i see why i have a broken relationship with my mom i see why i find it hard to relate with majority of women who are mothers or daughters because of this pathology because of this hyper control this enmeshment of souls of worth it's almost like having a kid proves your worth and i think that's wicked because when your kid no longer is a kid you still want to treat them as such, but no, like, it's really a crisis. And I'm not even pointing fingers because I see that I've been affected by that. And then it's also my responsibility to check that, recognize that capacity for me to pathologize my motherhood into something it's not meant to be, for me to be hyper independent, for me to become bitter and resentful. And I just don't want that. And I feel it. I feel this rage. I feel this anger at how I should have been treated. I feel it. I feel it. I literally feel it. I can't help but recognise that how I'm being treated is just a continuation of this pathology of the motherhood instinct. And there has to be something done about it. There really does. Because this is just destroying. It destroys women, men. It infantilizes everyone. As I said, motherhood is a noble act it's a beautiful thing one does not have to have their own kids to mother someone um but we do need more of a collective understanding compassion towards mothers um especially early on because if not like they will just become this beacon of control and worthlessness and insatiable 
power hunter hunting like yeah mm.